Hey everybody, gonna do a quick video. Um, I'm gonna add to the helpful hints video and show people one thing um, because some people are thinking that their uh, projects that they create when they go to do a screenshot, their projects get deleted. I wanna show you what happens or what you can do if you see that, okay? So the first thing I would do if I were worried about mine being lost is I'm gonna come to your, you can do this two different ways. I'm going to show you the way you're using SketchUp for Schools first. So you're going to open up SketchUp for Schools, and when it gets to the home screen, where it has you, it asks you, for you, I think it says start modeling. I don't think it brings up recent uh, uh, files like mine does. So once this opens, just waiting for it to open. I had a few students say this yesterday and we were able to find them. Here's what we did. When you get to here, you're going to click open and then you're going to look at your Google Drive. If you've saved it like I mentioned for you to do, it should be on your Google Drive. You just got to find it. So you just got to click through here and click through your files. Most of you, from what I've seen so far, only have two files to start off with when you're your two parent files. And then you have to click through there. And you just need to look through your file folder to find find them. Look through every single folder. And more than likely, if you did save them, they're going to be in your Google Drive. Okay? The other way to find them is when you go into here, not even opening up SketchUp, open up Google Drive. And sometimes you can click over here and it'll say Recent. And if I click Recent... Anything that was added to my Google Drive recently will be in here. Look at all of the ones that I've clicked on throughout today. So that's those are my two suggestions. The other suggestion I might have is when you're going to save it. So we're going to start uh, for the person I'm working with today. We're going to do the learning sketch up. one and i'll do mr keenan so you can do this and we're gonna it will select it into the google drive if it actually does delete it here's what i suggest you do whoops let's go here sketchup files select when it saves just for an example okay there you go <laughs> Named it that, and then I just got to collect, select my Google Drive, okay? Here, SketchUp files, select. You might want to go into your Google Drive and create a folder for SketchUp files. That's totally fine. So if you're worried about it getting deleted, do save as, and then you will be able to save it to your computer. It's actually not this one. This is having you save it on your Google Drive again. If you export it, export it, and then if you did STL, that would work because that's STL is a part or PNG would work too. Um, so you can save it as that, and this is going to make it, it will download to your computer, and then you can um, show in folder, and you can have it saved on your computer too, okay? Then if I were to do that and close out of this, home and then do open from my computer you just got to go to where that last one was which i think downloads You just got to find out where it was, click on it, and you should be able to open it up. I don't know why I can't find it right now, but here's one that I did last year. Open. Let's see if it opens. This was made in a different one. But those are some things that you could do. Okay? This was a project that we used to make uh, for sixth graders, but um, this was a catapult. There would be a crossbar in here, and then we would have a way to... Uh, a crossbar being here and then we'd have like a catapult over here 
and we would have rubber bands attached and make things go flying. But um, anyway, that's how to find it. That's how to look for your things in Google Drive. That's how you can save it and re open it back up from your own computer there. Okay, that's that. Have a good day.